Welcome to this tutorial on creating an effective training set for generating consistent character models. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of building a dataset that enables you to create high-quality, consistent images using Scenario. Whether you're working with Flux or SDXL models, this approach will streamline your creative workflow and unlock new creative possibilities. Method 1. Generating Initial Images for this example, we're using the Flux Dev model, but the same approach applies to other models, including SDXL ones. Start by writing a clear, concise prompt that defines your character's core features, such as hair color, eye color, skin tone, body type, and hairstyle. Avoid adding actions or backgrounds at this stage. Focus solely on the character's attributes. Include the desired style before the character description as word order can influence the output. Generate a batch of images and tweak the prompt until the character's appearance is consistent across all images. This base prompt should be simple and to the point. Avoid too much detail, as it can lead to less consistent results. Once you've locked in the base prompt, you can start adding actions to create more dynamic images. For example, you could add an action like drinking iced tea on the beach at the end of the prompt. Generate another set of images, this time with variations in expressions, poses, and angles to enrich your dataset. Select 8 to 10 images that best represent the character for your training dataset. If you're using a SDXL model, you can also take advantage of the character reference feature to generate character variants. Method 2. Using a 3D model to build a dataset. Another effective method for creating a consistent dataset is by using a 3D model of the character you want to generate. Once the model is ready, take multiple screenshots from different angles directly from the viewport of your 3D software. Be sure to capture the character from various perspectives, front, side, top, and three-quarter views, as well as different poses, if the model is rigged. This approach ensures a diverse, yet cohesive dataset that maintains the character's core features across different angles and movements. With your data set ready, go to the Models section and select Train Your Own Model. Upload your chosen images and start the training process. If you are training an SDXL model, it is advisable to edit and add good captions to the training images. After training, test the model using the base prompt. Then, add actions to generate the character in different scenes you'll notice that the results are more consistent and high quality. Check out our other video on best practices for training models to optimize your results. Your newly trained model can now be used with advanced features like Multi-LoRa, ControlNet, Scenario Live, and more. By following these steps, you'll build a strong dataset and train models capable of generating high-quality, consistent images. Keep experimenting with new prompts and actions to push your creative boundaries even further. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.